Hey, welcome to another game review or look back of an old game on the Old Computer Museum channel. And this is Gunsmoke for the Commodore 64. So Gunsmoke is a 1987 game by Capcom USA. And uh, basically it's a, uh, a vertical scroll shoot 'em up uh, old Far West type game. Basically the screen moves at a uh, fixed rate and um, you have to stay alive and defend your uh, town. Um, you're a lone gunman and you're out to save the gold rush town of Iggsville from a fearsome group of bandits uh, that are known as the, as the Wingates. So each level has a particular target enemy and um, is um, or her henchmen must also be taken out. So uh, you just you know go through the level at a fixed space and you just you know try to shoot and uh, keep yourself alive if possible. It's a two disc game, so um, I imagine there are many levels. And so here you see Wanted Master Winchester, ten thousand bucks. And uh, then you start the level basically as a lone gunman right at the bottom. So you see me at the bottom there. And basically you um, try to uh, you know shoot up and try not to get killed like you see here. Um, as you've seen there's two ways of playing the game. Now this game is in the mode of um, being in a quiet mode actually at the time being. So. Um, when you scroll sideways, your um, your character shoots automatically. So um, that's an interesting um, way of doing things. Uh, prevents you from doing, you know, having to do too many at the same time. I believe. Um, now, it's an interesting game. Um, graphics represent what actually they are meaning you know you have the cactus and the little the houses that look really far west old far west type so um it's an interesting game uh the rate of the scrolling is a uh, kind of slow so it prevents me from really enjoying myself a lot with this game i must say uh, kind of um it's a 1987 game, but feels like, you know, the first Commodore games that came out back in 1983, for example, that were much simpler in the graphics. So it's kind of a little weird for that. <clears throat> it's really a little simple here. So um, I would say that's maybe a little drawback, but um, the gameplay, I'll put the music on here because it was off. The gameplay is still okay um, well would I enjoy myself playing this game for a long period of time I'm not really sure like I said the slow scroll makes it kind of a little boring but yet there's a lot of action because there's a lot of characters that are trying to uh, shoot you actually so you gotta be careful and avoid the bullets as you see here. Difficulty is quite high because of all the characters that are actually in front of you. Um, having to, you know, avoid bullets while shooting other um, characters is quite difficult here but unfortunately even though um, you've got you know all this gameplay there's something that's preventing me from really having fun probably like I said the fact that it's kind of a movement I would have probably enjoyed more having um, the character move forward when you just press forward and 
only scroll when I press forward it gives you the time to um, basically um, you know master the different characters and when when it's done you just can advance a little further out and get more enemies um, I think that would have changed a lot the, the game itself I think the add-on of um, having a um, automatic shoot when you go on left left to right is nice because since there's so many enemies at so many spaces, it really helps you um, Now while you're going around the uh, area, there's uh, stuff that you will of course pick up in the way uh, power-ups, uh, lives, all sorts of uh, interesting little details that will make you probably survive longer being a two disc game for the Connor 64 I believe that this game probably has many 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 different levels to play so uh, that's also something you gotta think about uh, one interesting feature is also the fact that the bullets have a limited range so you can move out of the way for example of bullets So basically it's really to do each level. Music is not totally inspiring, I must say. Maybe that's why they uh, actually give you the chance or the choice to uh, turn it off. So I give uh, Gunsmoke for the Counter 64 a score of uh, 6.5 out of 10. It's an okay game uh, if you want to try it. Two discs, uh, 2D64 on the Counter 64. Yet uh, it's kind of a little uninspiring and um, it can be played with uh, one or two players. So um, if you want to have some fun with a friend, it's possible. And uh, of course, difficulty levels is uh, possible here with the uh, novice, normal, and advanced uh, type. <coughs> it's um, <coughs> an okay game, but nothing really extraordinary, I must say. Um, if you enjoy these look backs at old games and consoles and stuff, uh, you can emulation. You can uh, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online and uh, maybe you've played this game and uh, ate it or enjoy it let us know and let us know what you thought of that game when you were playing it and um, if you have any requests of games or consoles or emulation stuff you'd like to see let us know and we'll try to put a video online for you and um, if you have any comments, questions, it's always a pleasure to have all of the comments, especially when someone, uh, we have lots of positive comments, you know, people that just, you know, enjoy watching these old games and think that it's great that somebody takes the time to actually save these online. And someday, my belief in the future they're probably going to be forgotten and uh, hey take a look at the other videos we have real machines like the Amiga 500 the um, Atari ST we have emulation stuff we have 
Atari 2600 VCS, Counter 64, we have a Super Nintendo, and we'll have lots, lots more coming up. Uh, as I have more time, I'll put a lot more videos online. So uh, there's going to be literally more than a thousand videos eventually here. Um, it's just that, you know, I need a little time to uh, put them together. It is time consuming, and I want to have not just display the game, but I like giving out the little details about, you know, the platforms for which this game was made and um, if there's this little story behind it uh, it's always fun to know um, I believe I didn't say the platforms here for this game um, because uh, frankly I don't have much information on it except the fact that apparently it was available for Nintendo so um, Probably the Nintendo version is more fun than this one. So, I uh, hope you come back and watch our videos and enjoy our videos on the old computer museum and that... Um, We'll take a look at all the videos that are already online and all the ones in the future. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.